Hi, welcome back to Sadler Up Nails. So I'm going to show you how to apply my water decals since I got such a good response on the video on how to make them. So I always start off with Young Nails Protein Bond. I use a Prey Gel X Nails for my press-ons. Um, I don't buff them. Um, that's not a step I feel is necessary. They are gel and the protein bond works really well to bond any gel polish to them and I've never had any issues with that. So we're gonna work smarter and not harder and uh, yeah, we don't buff the nails. So um, I apply a white gel polish. My favorite one now is the Ugly Duckling White. It is a very, very opaque gel polish and you really only need two coats of it. Um, so after those two coats have cured, you're gonna put down a base coat. Um, you can apply the decals directly to the dispersion layer of the gel, but you know, the dispersion layer is uncured gel, so sometimes the color comes off and you can get it all over the top of the decal. So I prefer to just put down a base coat and you do apply, or sorry, you do cure that base coat. Um, you do not put the decal on wet gel, that would just be, a complete mess um, so while that is curing you're gonna put your decal face down in the water I like to put it face down because then I can see the water soak into the back of it and then I know uh, it's ready to go once all the water's been soaked in so when it is ready to go you're gonna pull your decal out of the water I like to dry mine off. I don't like it to be too wet because then I find it slides around too much. Um, you can use your nails, but I like to also use tweezers to peel at the corner. Now this decal is on white paper. When you're doing a full nail wrap, I actually prefer the white decal paper, like especially for the Louis Vuitton and my money decals. I just find the white works so much better than tra than the transparent, which is funny because the transparent ones um, sell a lot better than the white. So you're, I like to use my fingers to put it on, place it down on the nail with the image where you'd like it. And then I like to slightly pull at the bottom, pull it a little bit taut, and then the decal kind of naturally wraps itself around the nail. Um, and then you're just going to use your fingers to slide the decal into place and pull it a little bit. I find my decals have a little bit of give to them. Um, they don't rip that easily on you. I've never used other decals. I'm going to be honest. I made these. They worked amazing. I've stuck with them. Um, so, yeah, I don't know how other decal decals perform when you pull them like this um so yeah I just like I pull them till they're taut you're gonna want to get out all bubbles I noticed there was a little bubble here so I'm just rubbing rubbing out the bubble towards the edge uh to get the air out because if you were to top coat it and there was a bubble underneath you would definitely see it and it just does not look good at all so make sure all the bubbles are out and then you can work on flattening out the edges please like and subscribe to uh, this video guys if it's helping you out at all um okay so after you have flattened it out around the edges you're going to get your file and you're going to file downwards you're not going to file upwards or else you'll peel the decal is it decal or decal like i don't even know but i'm going with decal so sorry if that's bothering you um <laughs> So yeah, file away and then lightly or gently peel the decal off, um, off the nail. I like to use a stone file because I find not a lot of dust comes off of it. Um, you don't want to get dust underneath or else it'll just look bumpy and, and gross. And so here you can see like I kind of creased it a bit, but then I was able to just go back with my fingers and flatten it out again and then go back and continue my filing and so I do always file around I guess the cuticle first and then I do the tip of the nail last it's just the way I do it I find that's 
uh, the best, best way. So after you've done your best flattening out, out with your fingers, you can then come in with one of these silicone tools and go around the edges some more to get those creases down. Or if you don't have one of those, you can do the, you can use the rounded side of a cuticle pusher. And I find that works really well also to just flatten down those creases. You're not, honestly, I don't know if anyone else is able to get the creases out completely. Let me know how you do that. I have yet to be able to do that. So you're just going to have to push them down as best as you can. And then I come in with another coat of base coat to make sure that that decal is sealed in completely and will not come up. And then after that has cured, I top coat it with a no white top coat. Now this is not my favorite top coat, so that is why I'm using this one for this step because then I do come back in and you'll see I buff the nail one more time. And when you are sealing with both the base coat and the top coat, you're just going to pay extra, extra attention to the edges because that is where your decal will peel up if it's not fully sealed. So then after that is cured, you're going to see I come in with a buffing block and I do use the finer side. I don't want to rough it up too much. You don't want to go through your top coat and hit the decal or else you're just going to ruin all that work you just did. And then I lightly go around all the edges to make sure that it is smooth and clean and not bumpy at all. And then after that, I come in once again with top coat. Well, clean the nail off first with some alcohol because you don't want any dust in there. And then I'm going to do this one matte. My favorite, favorite top coats now are Ugly Duckling. Uh, their matte top coat is so good and it just is so smooth to the touch. Like if you haven't tried it, you just have to try it. And then, yeah, once again, oh, get all the hair out and then uh, make sure you pay very close attention to seal in all the edges and make sure it is nice and smooth. Wipe the dispersion layer and reveal that beautiful decal. There you go, guys. This is how I apply my decals. If you have another way that you do it, please uh, comment and let me know how. Thanks for watching.